Nick Fletcher. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I want to speak today with regards to Laws Amendment 5 and the motion put forward by my uh, honourable friend at the side of me. Buffer zones are basically the public um, space protection orders, and they're a 150 metres uh, area that they, they cover. PSPOs, as they are called, uh, are generally used for antisocial behaviour. We do have three in Doncaster, apparently, and I've actually applied for one person and myself in, in Coningsbury, in my constituency. We have a, a set of seating uh, in the middle of town where we have people under the influence of drugs and alcohol, and we do have beggars there, and they're causing a nuisance of themselves, antisocial behaviour, and it's actually killing the town centre. However, I've been refused one of these PSPOs there. I, I will continue, because I do think it's the, the right thing to do. But what these do is going to put a buffer zone, a PSPO, around every single clinic uh, in the country, and it's going to be mandatory to do that. Now, regardless of what we think about that, I just want to tell people in this House and in my constituency what this is going to look like. It's going to look like that the drunks and the people under the influence of drugs in Coningsbury are going to be able to continue to make a, um, a nuisance of themselves. They're going to continue to damage the local economy. They're going to continue to scare old people who want to go into the shops and young people. And yet, a lady or a, a gentleman who's actually got a real strong faith and believes that they can actually help these people that are coming in is not going to be able to do that. Now, one of the honourable members on the other side says um, praying and standing in front of somebody, um, and also the lady uh, on, on my side of this house was talking about why do they have to do it there. Well, if this is the worst day of a woman's life, and I would imagine, and I accept that it probably is one of the worst days of a woman's life, if she saw somebody there who was praying respectfully and who was there to help and they knew that these people were there, then they can ignore that lady, they can ignore that gentleman who's praying, they can just walk in. Or if it's the worst day of their life, they might actually want somebody just to turn to for that second. They might actually want somebody to turn to. And if, if somebody's been coerced into it, if somebody's been coerced into going into one of these places and trying to force abortion, again, that could be somebody there who was actually there to help. Now, I agree with everybody else in this house. Shouting, screaming, holding up placards is an awful thing to do. It shouldn't happen. But silent prayer and consensual conversations should not be banned. And I'll just refer back to what I said. The papers will get hold of this in a year's time. And we are the party of law and order. And we will be arresting people for prayer. And we will be arresting people for conversations. And we will be letting the people that are harassing all the public that go into our towns, into our shops, we will be letting them continue what we're going to do. So I ask... I ask, and I ask all Conservative members in this House to think about this amendment that my honourable friends put forward. All he's simply asking for is for people to allow to pray and for people to allow to have those consensual conversations. And his second amendment is that we actually, before we put this in place, we actually do a review on it. That's what I'm asking for. Thank you very much.